In this video, I'm going to go through the process of post-processing a PPK survey, but instead of using Trimble Business Center to bring the virtual base point into the TBC project, I will use the VRS Now website to download the data that I need to post-process this survey data. So we're going to be begin here by making a new project and picking a coordinate system template and then dragging in the raw data file from the field that's got the PPK observations in it. There's our check-in dialog. See date, 16th times, and antenna heights. So I'll just tap OK there. Project Explorer on the left here in the imported file section. There's the T02 file that's just been imported and again we can see a start and end time for the satellite data observations. In this case, this was on British summer time, so that will be an hour ahead of GMT. So I just have to bear that in mind when we go to the VRS Now website to download the data. So this is the first bit of information we need before visiting that web website. And the second is a coordinate for somewhere approximately in the center of the survey area. Uh, there happens to be some points here in the center, but if there wasn't, just key one in to the center and use that as the approximate location for the virtual base. It's because you want the, the baselines, well, the resulting post-process vectors to be as short as possible. It's so only a limited amount of data observed here. Okay, so now let's go to that web page so the web page to go to is vrsnow.de www.vrsnow.de when that page appears on the left here you'll see a login link so I'm going to click on this and here you will need the email address that's associated with your VRS account and the password that's associated with that email address. If you don't know what the password, uh, the email address is for your account, let us know. Um, we can provide that to you. And if you don't know the password, just click on the forgot password link and a new password will be generated or a reset will be generated and sent to that email address. So you'll be able to sign in. So when you've got both bits of info, the reference uh, email address for the account and the password, just sign in. And then once signed in, you want to go to the reference data shop and start a new order. You're presented with a choice of downloading data for physical base stations in the VRS network or to generate from those base stations a virtual reference station or base point in a position of your choosing. So to post-process PPK data, it's the second option that we need. And you're then asked for a lat long location to position this base point. Now again, having brought the data in to TBC, we can see by selecting a point that's in the center of the survey area, some lat long information. And again, I can just click into that field, right click and copy. Paste that in here. I'll just take out some of these degrees minute and second marks there we go that will be fine and that's north need to do the same for the longitude again just copy and paste Okay, and that's west. 
we'll say the ellipsoidal height is 110. For that point, it was 102, so I've just put it a bit higher. Just click back on the T02 file and go on to the next step on the web page. So the next step is the time selection. Okay, so we need the date and the time. So we're looking here at the 16th of July, 11.41, for approximately 15 minutes of data. But that will be 10.41 GMT. So let's call it 10.40. And we'll ask for... 20 minutes of data and for PPK processing like this it's important to set the interval to one second so we've got a limited amount of field data and that was logged at one second next we need to add this information to the order the order summary then appears you can just check the information that you've put in here to make sure you've got that correct and then go to the delivery options there's a number of options here I suggest you go to download the data and choose Rhinex 304 as the file type if you're using software like TBC which is capable of using Rhinex version 304 format files. I go to generate the data and then we just wait for that to process and then we can download it and bring the resulting Rhinex data for the new virtual base point into TBC. So now the processing is complete, the next page that automatically appears is this one for the reference data shop data generation. So we'll go to order details and here we can click on the download button to download the data we need. And I've created a folder here called VRS base. I'm just going to paste it into there and I'm going to go and unzip that file okay all of these files we can use apart from the text file so at this point I'm finished with the VRS now website I can put that down here I can select the files for the virtual base point and drag and drop those into TBC. So again we're going to check in. Just check the time is correct. Okay, so this is on the uh, local time now which is BST. Uh, the duration, the antenna position and uh, height etc. So I'll click OK to bring that in and we see the base um, baselines appear. If the wrong date or time would be selected we wouldn't see these these baselines appearing. So back in Project Explorer it's going to give that base coordinate control quality so our baselines are going to process from the base outwards to where we need. which is now done. You can go to the survey ribbon. Uh, if you've, depending on how much time has elapsed, uh, you can uh, import some precise ephemeris from here uh, using the internet download. This is from the 16th. Um, so there may be some uh, rapid orbits available. We might have to go for the ultra rapid. Let's try the uh, the rapid first. Okay, so they're not available. Let's go with the ultra rapid. Hit automatic and OK. Okay, the files are ready to import. Just hit import on those. So I can close up that dialog. 
press my red reprocessing ball I'm ready to process the baselines and that's also here on the survey ribbon there's a button for process baselines we'll hit that and we're looking for fixed solutions uh, base point on the left field surveyed points on the right check our precision values and they all look very good RMS so low noise great and now save and those points have been positioned correctly to their precise coordinated values relative to that virtual base point and that's a process complete so it's a bit of an alternative to using the um, using the, uh, the the internet download button within TVC to get that data uh, sometimes it's interesting to see how you can use the website and to explore some of the other options you have here uh, available within this this web page as well such as iScope and iScope Live where you can see uh, where your uh, receivers have been used and currently where they're being used live. If you've got any questions please get in touch. Thanks.